Bonjour à tous, bienvenue de ce, dans ce nouvel événement de la Success Week avec Educarib. Je m'appelle Gladys et aujourd'hui nous sommes avec l'université Costat basée à Trinidad. La Success Week, c'est l'occasion pour vous, étudiants, futurs étudiants, parents, de découvrir les programmes et les universités à votre portée dans la Caraïbe et de ne pas vous limiter dans vos choix, petite précision, aujourd'hui, notre live est en anglais, mais n'ayez pas peur. C'est la bonne occasion pour poser vos questions, pratiquer votre anglais et tout découvrir sur cette nouvelle université. C'est parti, on va switcher en anglais. Hi, guys. Welcome to this new event of the Success Week with Educarib. My name is Gladys and today we are with Costat, all the way from Trinidad and Tobago. So please welcome Mr. Tayo. From Costat. Hi, Mr. Tayo. Thank you for being here. Hello, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Fine, thank you. <laughs> Perfect. And please welcome Mr. James. Hi, Mr. James. How are you? Bonjour à tous. Ah. Merci de me recevoir. <laughs> Parfait. Your French is good enough. <laughs> All right, so you are here today um, to tell us about COSTAT and the School of Communication. But before we start, um, could you just introduce yourself? You want to go first, Coyote? Yeah, sure, sure. Um, I'm Coyote James. Uh, I'm a senior lecturer at the Ken Gordon School of Communication, Creative and Digital Media. All right, um, I focus mostly on journalism and media theory. All right, I teach a lot about film, film criticism, for example, um, but I also um, teach a lot about media ethics, all right, and social media background and theory, all right? Um, if you're the kind of person who is interested in getting into media production, all right, creating movies, becoming a reporter, becoming a PR professional, anything like that, all right, I am going to be not the person who teaches you how to get your hands dirty, all right, and how to do the work in the field i'm the person who teaches you what to think about when you get the job done and you're trying to put your work together all right not how to film the movie but what kind of movie you want to make how to make this movie the most appealing to your audience all right not how to do the interview all right but what this new story should be about what you should be investigating all right so i am more one of the, the back end theory lecturers all right um i'm going to pass you on now to mr ojuari all right Tayo, right, who yes. is definitely one of the frontline practical skills lecturers. So I am the one that gets your hands and feet all dirty out in the field. <laughs> yes. So I teach video production okay. at the Ken Gordon um, School of, uh, it's, a full, it's a whole new name now, communication and what, digital media. So we, we do uh, video production, editing, script writing, and uh, also television studies if you want to become a filmmaker you're in the, you're in the right place okay. i'll teach you how to use uh scripts using cell text to create scripts you know for for films you, you will know you will learn about the um, film history 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 back back when film started back back in the days you go out into the field i'll teach you how to use These days we use smartphones. Smartphones have replaced the big, those big cameras now. I will teach you how to use cell phones. You will know how to set up a tripod. You will know, learn, learn, learn the three, um, three point lighting on your, on your cell phones. When you, when, you, when you set up your cameras, you will see that most of these smartphones have these uh, lines, will, yeah. those grid lines. You'll be taught how to position your subject within those, those grid lines to get a very good shot. Mm. Okay, I'll stop here, but I'll go on when we start the, the, the full presentation. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Actually, my next question um, could be, what you're waiting for? Because I wanted to ask you, What programs are offered by COSTAT in the audiovisual sector? Okay, Kade, you can start there for me. Sure, sure. Um, we offer uh, 
we offer degrees, so mm -hmm. degrees, associate degrees, diplomas, and certificates. All right, in graphic design, in mass communication, in journalism, in film and video production. All right, um, and in advertising and promotion, promotions. All right, which of course integrates um, skills from all of those different fields: graphic design, filmmaking, copywriting, everything like that. All right, social media management, etc. All right, so yeah, we all of our programs, whether they be bachelor degrees, associate degrees, um, diplomas, or short um, practical certificates, all right, uh, integrate different aspects of professional media production. All right, whether it's behind the camera, in front of it, behind the mic, in front of it, <clears throat> behind the keyboard, etc. All right, um, we try to produce well-rounded media professionals. Okay. And, um, I'll, I'll, I'll be willing to talk about any specific program that you need to, if you, if anybody wants to hear more about them. Um, can you tell them how long yeah. the programs are from the, the certificate to the associate degree? Sure, sure. Our our, our um bachelor degree, our bachelor's degrees and our BA degree programs um run as long as four years full time. All right, and possibly shorter. All right, depending on what kind of exemptions, all right, you are, you are, um, you're eligible for. All right, our associate degrees are half that time, all right, two years or less. All right, um, our um, certificate programs or diploma programs run anywhere between one semester and two semesters, all right? So anywhere between six months and a year, all right? Okay. And you need, you need um, five CSEC, CXC, G, GC um, level subjects. Inclusive of English and mathematics. That's very important. Yes. Okay, noted. Um, so I said the school was in Trinidad and Tobago, but could mm -hmm. you just specify which part of the island exactly you are located in? Well, well, Gladys. Well, yes. I asked. I asked. I mean, we discussed this quite a bit before um, the, the presentation began, and I I insisted that we put this image up. All right, because. Yes. Um, this image, this is our campus, all right? Okay. This is the Ken Gordon School campus. It's in Woodbrook, all right? That's in West, well, what we call West Trinidad, all right? Okay. Northwest Trinidad. In fact, it's, it's in Sinclair, Woodbrook, generally the same area. We are a couple of blocks away from Port of Spain, our capital right. city, all right? We are, you know, this is, our location is one of the biggest draws and assets, all right, mm -hmm. of our campus and our school, all right? We are very close to the city, but not right in the city. So we have all of the amenities and benefits, right, of being closest to the um, our biggest urban. Okay. Oh my goodness. I, I think happening? so. Oh well, he will be back with us soon. <laughs> so, um, okay. Mr. Tonyo, could so you that's, just? That's that's me. Okay. I'm back. That's me. I'm back. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what what would have caused that. All right. Um, yeah, we have all of the benefits of of, of um, being closest to, to the, this, the the country's biggest urban area, busiest urban area. All right, but we're on the outskirts. All right, so okay. it's not that busy. It's not it's not bustling. All right, there's not a bunch of traffic. It's it's a relatively quiet area. All right, better than that though. All right, better than just the convenience of travel and, and commerce and whatnot. We are in the creative center of not just the city but the country and creative on multiple levels. That building right behind us, the blue one, that's actually okay. Trinidad and Tobago's first television station, all right? Known as TTT, all right? Trinidad and Tobago Television, all right? We are literally behind one of the uh, one of the uh, the oldest television station, all right? And one of the oldest um, radio stations in Trinidad, all right? Um, within a, like a 10 block radius of our campus, we have some of the um, most well-regarded radio stations, all right, video production centers, several TV stations, advertising agencies, graphic design firms, all right, um, and we have internship partnerships with all of these different media houses, all right. We have internship uh, partnerships with all of these TV stations, all of these radio stations, all, right, all of these advertising agencies, etc. And we send our students. You can't complete one of our um, major associate degrees, all right, or bachelor's degrees without doing, without doing at least one internship. For the bachelor's degree, you have to do two internships, all right, with a media house of some type, all right? 
So in terms of like that kind of commercial um, media production, all right, we are well placed. All right, okay. um, our student life involves not just becoming an intern, all right, and, and, and you know working with some of these firms, but literally just leaving class on any random day and walking a couple of blocks ac across to, to a TV station or radio station for an outing, all right, or to speak to a professional, all right. Okay. But guess what, Gladys? Not finished Tell yet. Me. <laughs> All right. Um, aside from these commercial um, media production houses, we are also in the in Trinidad's cultural creative center. All right. Okay. We are surrounded by some of the uh, most prestigious and oldest um, mass camps. All right. Those are the places that, that those are the, the the physical locations. All right. The headquarters, more or less. All right. For carnival bands. All right, okay. that's where the craftsmen, that's where the artisans, all right, the craft, the, the craft people, all right, and the artisans, that's where they, they create costumes, they bend wire, all right, they stick feathers, they do whatever they have to do, all right, to create these these costumes. So we are in the middle of a, at least half dozen of the most prestigious carnival mass camps, all right, both adult and junior, by the way, all right, okay. in the country. And we're also right around in the middle of several of the most prestigious steel band orchestras oh, yeah man. all right yep yep very close by we have we have uh, we have fact about two blocks away we have the the modern years the woodbrook modern years uh, and we have a bunch of other steel band um orchestras nearby all right during the carnival season well woodbrook st Clair is the heart of, of the carnival parade all right and that is constantly fodder and material for our students who are going out there to take pictures take video write stories create documentaries etc and create their own um, visual art based on the masqueraders and the other. So our location, central as it is in Woodbrook in Saint Clair, all right, yeah. is not just convenient but it's conducive to creativity. All right, um, it's one of the things that we value most. All right, I'd also like to add that those plants that you're seeing there, yeah. around our yeah, I planted most of them. Just wanna just wanna put that little thing in there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so all right. That's another okay. picture, the reason I wanted that picture up. But I hope that I hope that's a, a good sell and a good um a good explanation of what of what we do and why we you know why we are so good at doing what we do. Uh, let me Gladys. let me just add add to what um he just said a while okay. ago. So now these days students don't want to stay in school for too long. So they could start off, they could become entrepreneurs from mm -hmm. as low as a, a certificate. Yeah. They they can become um, videographers, they can create music videos, TV and radio commercials, documentaries and feature films by just uh, a, a certificate. But if you want to stay longer, you can go up mm -hmm. to associates and the BA as well. But you don't have to. You can start off as low as a certificate a few months and you're good to go. Okay, perfect. Um, Mr. Tayo, I have a question for you. Um, which program are you responsible for? Uh, are you responsible for a specific program or department? Well, I am in the um, under video production. So okay. in, uh, there we, we I, I am um, um, I am part of the, the video production where we, we, we do the editing, uh, script writing, uh, 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 film history, you know, but mo more hands on. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, so do you have any tips for students who might, who are interested in that field and who are probably getting ready to apply, let's say next year? What would be your best tips? Okay. Can you just show that video for me as I talk? The video of the students, right? Yes. Okay. So we have a short clip that we are going to play. Um, so enjoy. And we'll be back. Well, we can't speak over it because there's there's no audio. Yeah, I can talk over it. You can play it. Yeah. Right. So now you're seeing how. Oh, what, what, Hold what on. Are we? Hold okay. on. Right. So this is a this is a very short hmm. video, uh, done by by a group of students. This was shot with a, a smartphone. And you see how uh, the lighting is? You'll be taught three-point lighting. 
uh, it's it's not it's not it's not hard at all, you know. Back in the days, you you were, you were using big big cameras, but now you're using a very small small uh, smartphone. You, you you at times you don't even need have to use a tripod. You can use your your, your smartphone. You you can use uh, if your hand is shaking. Yeah. There, there are many many ways, many tips that I, I can teach you on how to stabilize your 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 footage. You can hold your breath. You can use your your a colleague's back. Put your hand on the back. You, you can you can put your hands by your side you can hold your breath you know and take the shot it's, it's you know it's very it's it's um it's not as hard as, as you think it is and uh, with, with that we, you you will be taught how to create your scripts mm -hmm. to create nice scripts for nice short short films you know and yes, the rest of sure. history <laughs> <laughs> very nice we have a question from Maela. Miley is asking, are there any courses that can, that can help me start my YouTube career? Yes. Everything that I've mentioned now will help you with your YouTube career. Before you even start your YouTube, uh, you will have to get to understand how to create graphics, still images. You know, we teach that in Costat. Okay. Besides graphics, your, your video production, the basics in, in, in video production, lighting is very important. Lighting, a, a sound, and mics. Uh, try your best not to use the internal mic on the camera because you will hear a lot of uh, ambient sound. So you, 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 mics are very cheap now. Thank, thanks, thanks for uh, modern technology. You, you can buy a mic that's very cheap and you can add it, uh, just uh, connect it to your, to your, your smartphone and make sure make sure you use the external mic and not the internal mic on the camera you know those, those are one of the, the tips that i can give you uh, from now um perfect. i can i can i can quickly add um sure go ahead um, is mael is it mael who's asking a question yes that's right Hi, mael. um mael, um First of all, don't wait until you get to Costa to, to, um, to start your YouTube career. Start now. <laughs> all right? That's my bit of advice for anyone who is interested in, in producing any kind of media. All right? We are not going to help you to start. You know, We're going to help you be your best self. All right? But please start now. There's nothing holding you back if you're already here on a computer. Start your, 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 your whatever kind of media production that you want to be engaged in, whether it be you know filmmaking, um, YouTube influencing, streaming, anything like that start it now with whatever tools you have all right we'll help you do the rest um to to, to um, agree with what what Sayo was saying graphic design all right film production video production all right um a bit of audio production all right script writing all right um obviously some social media um yeah, we have multiple courses in social media both the um, general production side and the marketing side. We have multiple courses in social media marketing. All right. We have multimedia journalism, all right, which touches on a lot of what we've spoken about so far. All right. Um, and we have a few other courses that will complement anybody. All right. That will support anybody who wants to get involved in some kind of YouTube career. All right. You want to get up to become not just comfortable and competent, but you want to become great. All right. At video production and, um, Oh gosh, timeliness, all right, content management, all right, um, reading analytics, all right, um, not just following trends, but creating trends, all right, all courses are geared towards that, all right, I would say about, about half of any program that you are, that uh, that you take with us will be directly, you know, geared towards that, those sorts of skills, all right, directly geared towards those sorts of skills. Uh, be, 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 before I forget, Yes. orientation for okay. video is landscape not vertical it's landscape so, so, so some of some of the sites like uh, instagram gives you a vertical but if you're going to do that do it twice landscape and you know so that so that when it when the time comes you have both okay. you know but you know we all watch tv landscape so please to record in landscape Okay, thank you for that tip. I'll make sure to use it. Um, I wanted to know, are there any specific requirements other than, you know, you mentioned CSEC 
and CXCs, but in terms of experience, maybe, do I need to do any anything? Nothing at all, right? I can just apply on your website. Yes, and we will teach you from scratch. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, just, um, just one quick, but, quick, quick thing. Um, having no experience is not a uh, uh, does not affect you negatively, right? But having okay. some experience is right, always be a bonus, right? Oh. It can get, get you exemptions. So at the, at the very least, it'll make you make your time with us a little bit more, you know, smooth, a little more comfortable, right? But you can you you can apply for exemptions based on your on your past um, qualifications okay. and your past experience. All right. Um, a lot of our students, I know we're speaking to younger students here, secondary school students, right? But a lot of us, some of our students are also adult, all right? And are in the field, all right? Are, are just professionals, you know, sometimes veterans, all right, who are uh, enhancing their skills with us. Yes. Or even just getting qualifications with us, all right? Getting formal qualifications with us. Yes. And um, because of that mix of age groups and experience levels, all right, um, younger students benefit a lot from being able to interact with, all right, um, and learn from, all right, um, veterans in the field, all right, mm -hmm. the average live session, the average classroom session, all right, will have someone like me or Tai or one of our colleagues, all right, obviously yeah. introducing and, and, and instructing, all right, mm -hmm. on the topic, all right, but also integrating real life experience that we would have had as professionals because we're all professionals in our fields. I, I, I have a former journalist. All right, Tayo is a current award winning filmmaker, etc. All right, but integrating those experiences, all right, that we have or that other students have, all right, um, as practical illustrations of whatever we teach in class. Yeah. Right. So somebody who's coming in as as you know with, as a blank slate, as one of you all put it, all right, gonna have a, a great time because you'll be surrounded by people who will help fill in those blanks. Yeah. All right, not just the classroom um, teaching, but you know the experience and the interactions as well. Okay. Perfect. We oh. have a question. Yep. Okay, so we have two questions actually. So Danu is asking, do you have equipment available? Oh, well, he's asking if you have any equipment for students to use. Or do yes, students need yes. to come with their equipment? Yes, we have equipment, but if whatever you have we can work for you as well. But yes, we have we have the basic basic equipment, you know, um, tripods, uh, DSLR cameras. We have a, a light light kits. We we have a a, a green studio as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, so yes, we have we have equipment, basic equipment for you to use. Okay, perfect. And Mayel has another question. She's asking, are there special requirements for international students to join the courses? Have you had foreign students so far? Well, thanks to COVID, yes, we had a lot of foreign students. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was um, during COVID. It wasn't. It wasn't. It was not easy because it was our first time teaching a a practical course online. So I had it rough. Yeah, <laughs> I, had, I, had to, I had to demonstrate using my camera. You know, it wasn't easy at all. But I mean, I got through. But it wasn't yeah. easy. Yes, but yes, yeah, we teach international students. Um, okay, we, so we've, we've oh, sorry, I didn't interrupt. Yeah, yes, we, we cost that in general. I mean, Ken Gordon specifically, but cost that in general. Yes, we, um, a lot of our students come from other countries, all right, in the Caribbean. Um, hmm, hmm. in terms of, of specific requirements, I, I don't think there are any specific requirements, all right, beyond the usual for international students, all right, to join us as an institution. All right. Okay. Um, and yeah, we are accustomed to, to dealing with people from other islands, all right, integrating them into our own um, curriculum and culture. Right. In fact, some of the students from other islands are some of our best performing okay. students because they're really going, yeah. Right. right. I'm, I'm talk and I'm not even talking about our um online you know, students. I'm talking about students that who leave where they're living to come and stay in Trinidad for a few years to attend our classes. Those students tend to do really well because they know the sacrifice that they're making to you know come here. All right, so they're making the best of it. All right, um, they enjoy themselves. They enjoy themselves. Very nice. Um, so I wanted to ask you, as part of the programs, do you have exchange programs with other universities? We do. We do. Yeah, Ooh. we do. Um, 
in terms of specific details i'm not going to be able to share that many but yes <laughs> uh, regularly regularly we, we uh, we're lecturers forgive us but we regularly, okay, receive, <laughs> we regularly receive emails from our, our high ups all right okay. asking us to, to um identify and volunteer students all right who will be we can send away to some other kind of so to some other um, campus or some other country all right for a semester all right for some kind of exchange program all right for some kind of workshop etc so there is you know re regular exchange between us and, and um, other universities sometimes um universities, international universities or other universities send their f faculty to stay with us for a semester yeah yeah so there is exchange okay perfect um all right very nice um danu has another question um danu is asking are there competitions where i believe students can participate to showcase their work okay right now we have the film festival that's coming up so yes we they they, they, they have um workshops they have competitions where you win you win prizes and some, some sometimes it's um they give you money as, as a prize. So, so yes, we, we do. We do. We have we, we have that. All right. All right. I, I would I would direct you all. I'll probably put a, a link in the chat. All right. To the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival. All right. Where our students, all right, topped the, their, their future critics competition mm -hmm. for a couple of years straight. All right. Um, where we would have sent some of our uh, best um, film students or just mass comm students, all right, mass communication students, all right, who would have um, looked at films and, and written or recorded critiques, all right, reviews, etc., all right, throughout the festival. And yeah, and se several of our um, several of our, our students won that competition, I believe, for several years in a row. I believe we even got a first and a second place at one point, all right. Um, we have also send students to as far as greece for, for international debating competitions right. all right uh yeah so our students are, are active in in, a, in the competitive scene on different fronts not just you know in terms of sports right with our uh, our key on um football team all right but also in terms of different um types of academic uh, ventures and different uh, types of creative ventures as well and and um my 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 students if they're their video pro 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 projects are very good. They are shown on local TV. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. Yes. That's excellent. Um, hold on. I was getting ready to ask you something. Oh, yes. So we talk about competition. We talk about the programs. We know that you are open to international students. For international students, right? Do you know if course that helps? in terms of finding housing? Hmm. Hmm. That's a tough question. That's a, hmm. I know that Costat, I know that Costat helps. All right. Okay. I know definitely that our, that our um, student affairs department, all right, and yeah. our office of the registrar will definitely help. All right. Okay. And I know that they go the distance. Um, I don't know particulars or we, or we should not answer particulars in, in terms of housing specifically. Yes. Right, but they will go distance to, to direct you, all right, okay. to, to wherever you need to go to get support in that area. Okay, perfect, perfect. That's a good answer. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, wait, so let me check the comments and see if we have any other questions. So, Danu is saying thank you. So, I believe you answered all of his questions so far. Um, yes. So we have another question, right? What are some possible jobs after the programs that you offer in the communication and audiovisual field? We have a lot, a lot of jobs. Oh my goodness, a lot. I think <laughs> give us at least five. Five. You can, okay. Sound technicians. Okay. You can become an editor. Okay. You can become a camera person. Mm -hmm. uh, you can become a scriptwriter. Uh, what again? You, you can become a a um, production manager to 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 uh, um, take charge of a production set, mm -hmm. amongst others. There's so many, so many, so many. 
lighting technician. If you understand lighting very well, lighting lighting is plenty money, and all, this, all <laughs> you're, you're, and you're paid no, and you're paid heavily for them, especially all the foreign foreign crews who, that come down. If you're very good, they pay you in US. Okay. All yes. right. Yeah. Okay, that, that's good to know, you know. It, money is also important, and I'm sure our students will be pleased to know um, yeah. that they can make, you know, a fair es wage after they do. Especially if you are, you're good at what you do. So when you come here, don't joke, don't joke. Be serious and get high grades and, and produce good work, and you'll, be, you'll, you'll go places. You'll go places. Trust me. All right. Perfect. Hi. No, this is me. I, um, of course. Response to that question. Uh, one of the slides that we would have shown, and don't worry, this is not this is not me trying to get to, get you to show this slide. But, but, but we know. have, okay, you you know, it, 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 it's we um the anchor teams for all three of our um local new main news programs, yeah. right? All three of those anchor anchor teams either completely or partially comprise Costa graduates, right? Okay. So every single every night at, at around seven o'clock, all right, at least three, sometimes as many as five. Right, of the faces that you see um, sharing the news of the day on Trinidad and Tobago TV, all right, television stations, all right, our Costa graduates, all right. So we have we have supplied the newsrooms, the television newsrooms of the nation, the print newsrooms of the nation, all right, the radio stations of the nation. We you know are, are full of, all right, full of have many right? <laughs> employ, employ many. I don't want to say are full of because you know what we just want to take the kudos. We don't want to take the blame. All right, so many of our of our graduates, all right, are media personnel, all right. Um, of course, the ones making the real money are the ones who are in advertising agencies, okay, public relations firms, corporate communication departments in large corporations or government organizations. All right, all of those are fields that are um, available, all right, for you if you are qualified, all right, if you have the and if you have the internship experience that allows you to build up relationships with with um, bodies and organizations like that, all right? Um, but I'd like to just respond in a totally different way. Okay. I, I don't want to, to share five jobs that you can get. I just want to say that there's one job that you can create. Wow. If you come to Trinidad, if you come to, Trinidad, if you come to Costat and work with us, all right? Our programs are all very entrepreneurially focused. Right? We, we, are, we are very specifically focused on not just you know job attainment right but career creation right we want people to be sustainable we want our media professionals to be sustainable right we want them to be entrepreneurial we want them to create their own firms their own companies right and we have courses multiple courses geared specifically towards that all right creating your own business um, managing your own accounts all right reading the general you know business tone of, of the market, all right, marketing yourself, advertising, etc. All right. We don't want people leaving Costat with a degree in their hand to walk into, into a different company and say, hire me. All right. We want companies watching the work that you have posted while you are a student and saying, hey, come work for us. Okay. Right? Or we just want you people to, to, to create their own firms. All right. So yeah, um to the person who asked the question. Yes, all right. There, there are many jobs that will be available to you if you become a you know a, a proficient media professional. But wow. the, the really you know exciting thing is to be like um, what's his Mael, all right, yeah. who wants to start their own YouTube career. Yeah. All right, be entrepreneurial. Come to let, let, me, let, let me add to what uh, he just said. Cause yeah. that the class sizes are very small. Mm -hmm. This the lecturers know you by your name not like other universities that have big classes and the, the, all you do is just theory 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 because that is more hands-on you know because that is, is, a, is a bit of both and that's why all the companies want to hire costat graduates first before other other people from other 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 universities because from costat you can go into a job one time and you start working one time but other universities, you have to come out and do a six-month uh, course in anything that's hands-on. But because that, you start one time hands-on and theory. So when, when you finish, you are all-rounded. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you for that, Mr. Tayo. 
Um, I saw a question, a very good question in the web, in the comments. Ocean is asking, is there a great demand for persons in this field, in the Caribbean in particular? Of course. Someone like me, I am on, hand, I am on high demand right now. Filmmaking is, is, is getting, getting, getting places in the Caribbean. You know, we, we have a film, film industry. And the film industry has been here since 2006. And it is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So yes, there, there, there are a lot of openings for people from Costat, people who are in the med in media, in the all around the Caribbean. OK, perfect. Uh, we also have a question from Island Girls. And she's asking, how long could we do an internship? So I'm guessing as part of the program, if you, when you do an internship, how long um, should it be or could it be? I'll, I'll, um, I'll respond to you. My name is there. Um, an internship is usually one semester long. Right. Okay. Right? The specifics of the internship depend on the, well, it depend on the student, all right, and depend on the, the um, organization that you are that you are paired with, right, that, that you are assigned to, mm -hmm. right. But it requires you to work with the organization yeah. or the corporation, right? Ideally, especially now that we're coming out of this pandemic, right? In the corporation, you're gonna be in the offices, you're gonna be out on the field, right? They're going to exploit you, or they're gonna exploit you for free labor for all that you would, but still, but still, all right? Make the most it's of it, it. Do it, it's it's all right? Um, they're, gonna, they're gonna test you, all right? Um, and they're gonna bring out the best in you, ideally. All right, but Island Girls, thanks for asking about how long you can do the internship because that allows me to talk to talk briefly about a problem we faced in the past. All right, where our students have done so well, all right, have performed so well during the internships that guess what? At the end of the internship, they were asked by the by the corporation to stay. All right, <laughs> to stay, and then suddenly one of our most promising students halfway through their their bachelors. Decides, nope, nope, I think I just want to do an associate degree now. Because guess what? I have a, I have a job. I'm yeah. enjoying myself. All right. So we have we have we have temporarily lost some of our best students that way. All right. They got they did well in the internships. All right. Um and they were poached. All right. They were poached. They were taken from us. All right. But um Island Girls, an internship is one semester long. So when you reach here and you do your internship, remember that, that answer, it lasts one semester. When they tell you to stay. Come back to school, please. <laughs> <laughs> to school. Yeah. Perfect. That was a good one. Um, so we have another question again from Danu asking, do you have a site where the works are exhibited? Um, so I'm guessing the works that probably your team or post at students have really I'm have I'm going to drop some of that in the in the, in the chat. Uh, that's I've been looking for that while we, we we've been speaking. So I'm going to drop a few links in the in the chat. Okay, um, perfect. And and you know what? Okay, just this last semester, we have a new president, and he is pushing all the practical work out on the websites, out on in all the campuses, all the all the screens. So you, okay. you so you're seeing my I'm seeing all my students work out there on screens on websites just you know so that the world is seeing what 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 we do now okay nice yes and i'm very happy when i see my students work i say wait i see that hey that's his work oh, look at that look at that you see? <laughs> perfect um okay so let me check the comment section maybe we have another questions okay i'm not seeing anything right now but I just want to take a few seconds and say thank you to Danu, Island Girls, Mael, uh, and Ocean for asking the questions and being um, our viewers today. You guys are amazing. So thank you for being here. Um, I don't know, Mr. Tayo, is there anything else you want to share? Um, with our viewers? Uh, that is, I thought we would have had a chance to see their faces so we can interact with them. Ooh. Oh, no, not today. Oh, they they are watching us on YouTube and probably oh, okay. Facebook. 
LinkedIn and Twitter, but we won't be seeing them today. You wanted to see faces. Yes, yes. So I could talk, you know, one on one and, and I see how how they react to, to what we're saying to them. OK, so next time, next time. We'll do our best so we can have some face-to-face -face interaction. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, so please, got... uh, please, your YouTube channels, start it, start it, just start. I I started years ago, and right now, mine is just growing. It's growing, so start. Don't, uh, just start with anything. And before you know it, it just starts getting bigger and more exciting. And before you know it, you're out there. So just, just start, just start, just start. Don't be afraid, just start. So you have a YouTube channel? Yes, I do. So what do you share on your YouTube channel? Any and everything, I, everything, everything, <laughs> everything, everything. So you everything. just share content, you create content and you put yourself out there? Yes. That's very right, nice. Right now I have over 3,000 subscribers. And okay. before Christmas, it was less, less than 1,000. So you see, I worked hard to push it out there. That's nice. I love it. I love it. Do you also have a YouTube channel, Mr. James? Yes, I do. And it's you just do. A bunch so of, and it's just a bunch of lecture videos, so I'm not going to redirect <laughs> anyone to it, right? <laughs> need to keep this excited. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mostly um, put up like like recorded, summarized lectures for students who might be be online. All right. Um, I sometimes put up like examples of of really good examples of student work that I can share. With my class, all right, okay. to give them an example of what I want to, you know, what what I want from them, all right. But you know, having a YouTube channel is is, is not really a, a, an option if we're teaching mm -hmm. in a media school. I mean, we have to we have to maintain some kind of active presence on every platform, yeah. at the very least, to be able to, you know, to, to be familiar with how they work, to integrate them into our assessments. Um, probably this is a good time to, to talk about the type of work we do, all right. We are, I mean, our work has to be practical. Yeah. All right. Even in, in some of the courses that I teach that are very eerie heavy. Mm -hmm. All right. The work has to be, at, if not deeply practical, at least deeply personal. It has to be real and not a, like a regurgitation, a regurgitation or something that you might have read in a textbook. All right. So um, all of most of our assessments make use of some kind of media production technology. All right. Several of my courses, the, the main assessments make use of social media platforms. All right, you okay. have to create video, you have to record a podcast, you have to stream, all right, even if you just want to stream your, your, your games, all right, you have to use some kind of, 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 you know, social media platform to demonstrate some kind of proficiency, all right, time management skills, etc. all right, with media production technology, all right, I mean, it, it goes without saying that um, Tayo's assessments in, in, you know, involve actual film production, script yeah. writing, all right, audio production, etc. Right, so um, yeah, we we are all we are all you know familiar with versed and proficient with um, social media um, platforms, right? And as I would have mentioned before, we are all professionals, right? Some still active, right, in our fields. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you for that. But I'm not seeing any other questions in the comments, so. If you want to share anything else, now is the time before we wrap up. Mr. Tayo or Mr. James, um, anything else you want to share about the program or maybe post at the School of Communication? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh, Trinidad mm -hmm. and Tobago and why we should pick Trinidad. Tell us. <laughs> Island Girls ask a question about a student association. Uh, not only do we have a student association, um, we're currently, I don't, was it formalized yet? Um, prior the student senate, is it yeah. we're, we're, in the, we're in the process of putting together a student senate, oh, right? Yeah. A, yeah, yeah, so so students don't, don't only you know, don't only you know, convene, um, like socially, all right, or informally, but students actually have some kind of real well, students as a body, all right, oh. students as a senate have real administrative power in Costat. All right. In terms of, of of you know having some kind of say over their own you know welfare within the within the, um, the institution, right? So yes, we do have um, student associations. Oh, I realize now that you mean like like clubs and whatnot. Yes, we do have. Yeah, we have like a few <laughs> clubs as well. All right. Um, I, I mean, we'll be very frank. Um, 
because of and because of the pandemic, which we are you know we're now emerging from, all right, a lot of our on campus life, all right, really you know was 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 diminished, all right, was hurt by that because a lot of because you know we we shifted to our almost exclusively online model, right, but we're getting back into the campus, all right, and those student um, groups, all right, that survived, all right, the 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 the, the, the couple of years of, of online life and quarantine, etc. Right, are getting their foot in back. Right, so yes, when you when you get here, you will be able to, to join, um, and, and and more importantly, create. Mm -hmm. Right, create your own clubs. All right, and mm -hmm. definitely the the, the Ken Golden School, definitely our NLC campus. That that's our campus. That's the the North Learning Center where the Ken Golden School is located. That's what we had up on the screen earlier. Right, that's by far, right, by far the best place to create some kind of club because, all right, you you. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll try. Um, from that location, all right, you can get to any number of different um, recreational, all right, um, locations. You can go to the Savannah, you can go to multiple cinemas, the, the malls are close by, different sporting arenas are close by, parks, all right, um, different you know, different areas like that, right? So it's a great place to, to create a club. It's a, it, it's a great place to get involved in some kind of recreational student life. All right, perfect. Um, it's, it's okay. I said, I, okay, I don't know. Nope, Gladys, may you help me? Oh, yes. sure. Okay. Mm, so, I am from the French Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Est-ce qu'ils acceptent des jeunes en alternance, vous pensez? Enfin, je veux dire, ils ont ce process comme en France. Okay, so what Island Girl is referring to is basically internship. So in the French system, we have this, um, this, 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 this thing, all right? I'm going to use thing for lack of a better word right now. Where half of the time you are attending school mm -hmm. and the other half of the time you are working at a company, all right? Oh, wow. Um, pays mm. you basically for the time you are in school and at work. So she was asking if you have anything similar. I'm guessing the internship is what um, is the closest, right? No, no. Um, the internship is, isn't paid, and the internship is a, a semester long Ooh. program. All right. So you have to, I mean, there are two, there are two internships doing the BA, but I, um, what you're talking about is work study. Yes, we have work study, yeah, we do have. But it's not, um, it's the way you describe it in, in the French speaking Caribbean. It's yeah. not, uh, I, what was the word? It's not a given. It's not the standard. Oh. All right. Oh. We, we offer work study spots. All right. So there'll be a, a limited number of work study spots. And the place you'll be working, by the way, is Costa. Mm -hmm. okay. So Costa specifically offers those work study spots for students who, uh -huh. yeah, so students will work at the college itself. Okay. All right. And that you know well, what they make and whatnot will will of course you know pay for their tuition etc. Right, but in terms of a a national um, at a yeah. national level, I mean we no not, not nothing that I'm going to, to to compare to what you just described here. We do have what they call OGT on the job training etc. But I don't even know if that will be available to to like non nationals. Yeah. Right, and it's not exactly the same. But we do have work study spots. Right, definitely something that you can. You know, ask about, all right? I'm assuming that, that that you have all of the necessary um, contact information that you can forward to Island Girls when this is done. Of Great. <laughs> all right, perfect. Thank you for that answer. Um, so we have another question that you we started talking about it. Lori Van is asking, do you help students with accommodation? So, like you said. Um, you will have a department at COSTAT that is more than willing to assist students with that. Mm -hmm. um, and she's also asking, what is transportation like? Um, I, I'm not sure if we touch on that topic, but seeing the way you describe the central location, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I'm guessing you can get around pretty easily, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and we, have, we have the kind of Uber service as well. Uber. You do? Yeah, we have that here. Don't, 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 don't spend so much money. Don't spend so much money. It's a, it's a, it's a pleasant walk. It's a pleasant walk from the, from, from the main road, 
all right um it's 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 safer than most places all right okay. um it's it get transport to to the to the the, the ken gordon campus mm -hmm. the nlc campus that we put the picture up of all right it's it's, it's easy okay. it's easy all right even if you don't live close or even if you don't stay close by all right it's a very easy place to get transport transportation to all right, perfect. So I'm just going to wait a few seconds, see if we have any more questions. But in the meantime, I'm going to say thank you, Mr. James. Thank you, Mr. Tayo, um, for being here today and being open to share with us about COSTAC and the programs that um, you are currently working in. I think it's very nice to hear from our fellow Caribbeans, not too far. And um, let me see, let me see. No, nothing else. Well, do you want to add anything else before we yeah, end? I'd like to add one um, bit of, of, of course, that um, trivia. Go right. ahead. <laughs> um, I, hope, I hope you don't mind that I pulled up the campus. No, it's I, okay. I forgot, I forgot to add this earlier. Um, you're from the French speaking Caribbean. Um, yes. We, this, this is Costat, this, this Ken Gordon School building, all right? Mm -hmm. This is the first building that Costat the wider college owned, all right? It's not our main office, sorry, our main um, building, our main campus. It's far mm -hmm. from that. But it's the first one that we owned as a college. Okay. Um, it's an old Woodbrook, um, almost colonial style building, or at least it used to be before we renovated it. It also was the home of, of Costat's um, language and translation center up oh. until we took it over, <laughs> up until we pushed them out and, and took it over with our, our, um, our fancy media school all of our french speaking um well foreign language department yeah of french lecturers and um one of the country's only um official translation services all right was located right here in this building and there's still some artifacts of that like posters like old posters on the wall used to be hanging up and whatnot from that and a lot of old books around all right from that um foreign language uh france past really? right? so something i wanted to to add that I thought you all might find interesting. Nice, um, nice, that, nice, nice. That is, can this can this be part of like if I want to bring it into like one of my courses, can mm -hmm. we can we have this kind of interaction every like every semester? Oh because I, I, I like this. Is this very interesting? I like it. <laughs> yes, I, I love it. Yes, I, th I think it's possible. I mean, we would have to check how to do it and all the logistics, but why not? Everything is possible. I'm glad nice. you are doing it. Yes. <laughs> um, so one more question. Oh. Okay, two more questions, actually. Hmm. We have answered one, so I'll go over it very briefly. Um, how to register. Um, so like we said earlier, you can just head to the website and you'll get all the necessary informations um, with the requirements and deadlines and all the documents that you need to send to COSTAT. And I am going to show the link just right there. So you can just copy and paste and send in your application whenever you know it's the time. And we have another question. Are there opportunities for you to showcase your work done by your students, such as online events? I'm guessing social medias, you will be showing some work, uh, some student works, right? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. so Loraline, um, feel free to head to, to head to all the social media, all the coast social media, and I'm sure you'll see a lot of student work um yes so that was our last comment we are we are right in the middle right now of, of um, planning next academic year's um, series okay. of virtual tours we are going to be doing some virtual campus tours um and we're going to be as part of that package we're going to be um exhibiting student work all right okay. i'm showing off some of our, our best student work and whatnot so we will, you know, we will send you all right the link to that spe that specific event. There'll be a number of different events, and then possibly just a video up on our YouTube channel, all right, where we'll literally just be going through our campus, talking about our program, meeting faculty, displaying some of our student work, etc. All right, and Lauraline will be able to ask questions, be virtually in the campus, see our our classrooms, etc. 
our studio and whatnot, and see some of the work that our students have done. But we we posted some some um, examples of students' work up there on our YouTube channel mm -hmm. with the YouTube channel link. All right. Um, yes. Okay. So perfect. So Loraline, please make sure to check the YouTube channel and follow Costat so you can have all the information um, where you can see all the tours and all the student work. Um, Mr. James, Mr. Tayo, thank you again. This was lovely. Um, mm -hmm. I enjoyed it very much and hopefully we'll be seeing you again soon. Thank you so thank much. You very much. Um, oh my gosh, no, I forgot what to say thank you. In, in front, you say thank you in French. Class. Come on. Thank you in French. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. You, you, you got it. You got it. Merci. 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 Thank you for having us. All right. Of we hope course. to see some of you. All right. <laughs> um, bring your value to us. We'll bring some value to you. All right. Make you the best pro media professional that you can be. Perfect. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>